Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Um, today, we're going to be talking about Cora Prime. Um, just started getting back into the, uh, doing videos. Um, was in the hospital for a couple days. Um, there's a video of me explaining it very shortly, but basically, my feet got fucked up by a lawnmower. So my feet are fucked up, and I'm a little woozy because I've been on medication. But I thought at least, you know, put on another video for you guys. Um, if you watch till the end of the video, I will be putting information, or at least talking about information of how you can donate because it's probably not going to be cheap. I did had I had to get medevaced because um, we're there in the countryside, so. If you guys are willing to donate and stuff, I will put the info in the description and stuff like that. But anyways, so Cora Prime, everybody knows what she does, right? You get two cages. Enemies will get trapped into it. Nullifiers cannot take it down, which is great, but they can still walk through. Also, chargers from the infested can run through cages as well. Sometimes, sometimes they get grabbed. You have your whip. Which, if you have accumulating whip claw, can become a devastating weapon. Your secondary, which is so good against like acolytes, um, bringing enemies in from from a group. And then on this build, I didn't put dispensary. I'm just keeping Venari for now. This is not a complete build. This is just something I'm working on. So I put rejuvenation because she's very squishy. Um, Cora is very squishy. That's why she has the cages and then like um, her second to group up enemies because you don't want anybody hitting you pretty much. I put accumulating whip claw, so hitting three enemies will grant you 35% stacking, so it stacks up to 350%, which is actually OP. And depending on your riven that you have on your melee weapon, but it's also all of the, the stuff that you put on your melee weapon, so that accounts to your whip so and I also put for pilfering strangle dome just because getting that extra loot so like extra energy so that way you can whip more prime continuity just to help out because I put fleeting expertise and streamline so I can use my whip more so now the whip only costs 16 it is very expensive to use if you don't have anything blind rage for the strength Adaptation, you need it. She's very squishy. Feeding expertise, so the efficiency with streamline goes 135 because this thing takes away 55%. And then stretch for her strangle dome. Here, I haven't got that yet, but you can put, I mean, power drift to get a little bit extra damage and resist knockdown. It's completely up to you. You can put rush too for extra speed because. The more strength you have, the faster she runs. So that is actually a pretty cool thing. So, an example, I took off my um, my little guy, my sentinel. I just have Venari. Um, I didn't do too much to Venari, but I put on fetch, bite, maxed out, link armor, prime animal instinct, maul, medipet, and link health. So, usually, usually, like, on my other Korra, since he just comes back to life anyways, I replaced the third ability with, um, Dispensary. That way, when you do that, you, you can't put mods on Venari. But Venari comes back anyways. I just used him as fodder. But I'm actually going to try to build him a little bit. But so far, I got the damage mods there, and then I have three slots left. So... But you can imagine it. I'll have all the link mods, you know, stuff that usually keeps the pet alive, but he comes back to life. So you pair that with like maybe Jin that comes back to life, then you won't have any worries about that. So how does she work? Well, I will show you. So we're going to summon 20 Corrupted Gunners at level 185. Target one. Whip him. It's going to bring them all in. 
throw a cage. Now they're trapped by the cage. And as long as they get killed while they're in the cage, they will drop loot. So, just keep doing that. Just keep hitting it. And that's it. They're dead. Um, cages do not work on XMSs because now XMSs have that shield. So that shield has to be destroyed first before you can do any damage to them or even get caught by like abilities. And as you can see at the top, the accumulating whip claw slowly decays. So as long as you have a, a you know, enemies coming towards you, you can get it back up. And they're dead. You don't really need a lot of strength because it is dependent on your melee weapon. And uh, for me, I'm using my wolf sledge. I have a pretty decent ribbon on my wolf sledge, so I'll show you. So 267 crit chance times 2, 235 melee damage. So already there, that's pretty great. Uh, before I was using my um, bubonic plague. And the ribbon I got is pretty nasty. 149 crit damage, 316 crit chance. But then, like, the the damage of the weapon also count, accounts as well. So, I went for my wolf sledge, because my wolf sledge, without um, um, that mod, that melee mod, steel charge, without steel charge, it's still pushing out almost 4,000 damage total, so... Just once again, try trapping an enemy, whip that one, it'll bring everybody close, you can throw a cage if you want. Some of them are stubborn. That's pretty much it. She's very simple. So, your one's your whip. And if you have accumulated whip claw, the more times you hit, you can stack up to 350%. And make sure you have a good weapon setup for your melee weapon. Your secondary, it'll trap the enemy. And that is depending on duration. And if you whip them while they're encased, enemies get grabbed. So, you saw that big group of 20 people grabbed. The cage will pretty much suck up the enemy and then you can just keep killing the enemy and then if you have pilfering strangle them there's a 65 percent chance they'll drop additional loot and then your third is venari abilities i don't use them so if you want to look those up you can but i might just change out venari ability later for something else but that's pretty much how you use coral so thank you guys for watching um like i said i will put a paypal link in the description if you want to help donate for my um, surgery well pay for it <laughs> you don't have to but if you can like and share the video and I'll see you guys next time I feel nauseous believe me never had a lot of shit come easy had to work hard struggle just to be me had to rise up just so they could see me